everyone, it's Miss Jones and welcome to our art lesson. For the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about my favorite element of art, color. It's going to take us a few weeks for this topic because color is such an important part of creating and also talking about artwork. So for our introduction into color, we're going to be creating a common tool that is used to organize and show relationships between colors. This tool is called a color wheel. So you may have seen the color wheel before, but we're going to kind of alter our color wheel, make it kind of fun. So we're gonna turn it into a picture when we're all done creating um, our color wheel together. What you're going to need for this project is a blank piece of paper, a pencil, and then you're going to need something to color with. So either markers, colored pencils, or crayons. And specifically, you're going to need one of each color of the rainbow. So earlier this week, we talked about different colors um, and how you can remember the different colors of the rainbow. And there's a trick for that. It is um, kind of a word or saying, maybe someone's name called Roy G. Biff. So if you can remember Roy G. Biv, you'll be able to remember the colors of the rainbow. So let's start with R. R is our first color in the rainbow, which is red. So red is our first color you're going to need. Our second color is O. Orange is our second color because orange starts with an O. Our third letter here is a Y. The color yellow starts with the letter Y. These are our first three colors in our rainbow. rainbow. Roy. Now we get to our G. G is for the color green. And now for our last name, Biv, B stands for blue. So, so far we have red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Now, I is an interesting one. I actually stands for indigo, which is kind of like a bluish purple. For today, you're actually not going to need an indigo because indigo shows up on the color wheel, um, but not the color wheel we're going to be making today. So you won't need your indigo. And the last one is a V. So you may be thinking, well, we've missed one color and that's purple. Well, we like to call purple violet. It's the same one. So even on my marker here, it says um, violet or also known as purple. So that's our V is violet. So we have our six colors here. You should have six colors. We're taking out indigo today. So we're not gonna have our indigo. Um, but we have our red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. So these are the colors you're going to need today for your color wheel. Now, when we do our picture around our color wheel, you can kind of use any other different colors you'd like. So I might get some colored pencils um, to use with my picture so that my color wheel can really stand out with my markers and then maybe my... Um, more illustration, my picture I draw will be um, more colored pencil. So after we have all of our supplies here and we've got all our colors, we're gonna turn our paper um, tall ways here. Um, so that's kind of up and down. And we're gonna start by drawing our picture. So today for our picture for our color wheel, um, we're gonna draw something that usually is really colorful, a hot air balloon. So if you've ever seen a hot air balloon, they float up in the sky. You can take them up into the clouds over um, big landscapes. And uh, usually they're um, super colorful with lots of patterns and designs. So we're gonna make our um, 
hot air balloon here be our color wheel. So how we're gonna draw this here, um, if you've ever seen a hot air balloon, is it kinda is, uh, has like a short bottom here. Um, so we're gonna do a kind of a flat bottom, and then it kinda comes up almost like a big round circle that comes down. So we kind of have a short little square here and then it kind of comes over um, and we have our balloon. And we're gonna add our basket and other things around it. Um, but for now, we're gonna keep it like this. Um, so I'm actually going to go over mine with marker here. So you can see it a little bit better. Ta-da, so we have our balloon here. Now, I forgot to mention one other thing you're going to need. You're going to need a ruler or some sort of straight edge. So even like a box of, um, of markers will work well, um, but I recommend having straight edge. You can always do it freehand if you'd like, but usually a straight edge kind of helps. So we're gonna be dividing our balloon up into six different parts, one for each of our rainbow colors. Um, and I would say the easiest way to do that is um, drawing it kind of like we did our snowflake a couple weeks ago. So we're gonna start by drawing um, a straight line through the middle um, uh, long ways of our balloon. So try and find kind of the middle of your balloon and we're gonna do one long line across there. I'll leave in um, do it in marker so you can see it a little bit better. So we have our first long um, straight line going through there. Um, so now we have two sections, right, of our balloon, but we need to have six. So how else we can do that is we can do two more lines here. So uh, I'm gonna do kind of an X in the middle. So uh, an X is a good way of doing it. So we're gonna do another line going this way, diagonal line. And then we'll do it the other side too. So we're gonna try and line it up so they all have in the middle. We're kind of making it look like a piece of pie almost. And we wanna try and make all of our sections about the same size. It might not be exactly because our hot air balloon is kind of a different shape, but we wanna make them kind of um, equal parts here. So hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna go over it in, in um, Sharpie here so you can see it a little bit better. So we have our um, color wheel started. It's kind of our color wheel without our colors. So we have six sections, one, two, three, four, five, six. One for each of our beautiful colors here. And um, we did this by adding three lines. We did one through the center and then two kind of as an X. Um, and we kind of made almost like a pie. It kind of looks like a pie. Um, delicious, yum. So you may be really excited to jump in and start coloring each section a different color. But if you remember at the beginning of this video, I told you that color wheels are actually a way to organize colors and show relationships between colors. So our color wheel is organized in a very particular way. Um, so we have our rainbow. We talked about um, Roy G. Biv here. And Roy G. Biv not only tells us the um, different colors, but it also tells us the order, how it goes in the um, color wheel. So we're going to start with our red here. And red is going to be our first section here up at the top. Let's start at the top with our red. So we're gonna color one of our sections here with just red. So try and stay in the lines as much as you could. Mine kind of popped out there. That's okay. So that's our out, our um, red is our top one. So if we look at Roy G. Bibb, um, O is our next letter, which is orange. So 
there's a couple places we can go. We said we're gonna go in order. So we started with our red here and we're gonna go clockwise. And what that means is we're gonna go um, this way to our right. Um, Cause if you look at hands on a clock, um, those hands always move this way. So we call that clockwise. So we're going to be doing it over on this section right here. So this is gonna be our orange. All right, so we have our red and our orange. Now, our next color in our rainbow, our Roy, um, so we have Y, which is yellow. So yellow is going to be our next, and we're still going clockwise kind of around our um, balloon, our piece of pie here. All right, so we have our yellow. So our next is G, Roy G Bib. So we have G is green. So our bottom uh, triangle little section here is going to be green. Awesome, so we have our four colors, red, orange, yellow, green, Roy, G. Now we're starting with Biv, so we've got B, which is blue. Blue. So now we have our last section, which is of course for our V for Biv. We're skipping our indigo and going straight to um, violet here because we have these six sections. Um, so we're gonna fill in our last one with purple and then our wheel will start over back at red. Alrighty, so we have our beautiful color wheel balloon here. Super bright, colorful, wonderful rainbow. We have all of our rainbow colors, um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet here. Um, so like I said, our color wheel is how we organize colors. So um, we organize colors in this way pretty much always. Um, it's how they show up in the rainbow, So, um, which is nature. So we take our color wheel from nature. Um, in the next few weeks, we're going to start talking about the relationships between the colors. And our color wheel is a really great way of communicating those relationships. So next week, we'll talk about those. Um, but for now, we get to do the fun part, which is um, adding uh, more details to our color wheel balloon here to making it actually look like a hot air balloon. So um, a few things you can add. I would say you should add a basket um, on the bottom of your balloon. So if you've ever been in a hot air balloon or maybe you've seen one, they kind of have these strings that come down here. And then there's a little basket um, which is just a square down here. Um, and you can kind of make your basket however you like. I'm gonna make mine brown and usually it's like a woven kind of basket. So I'm gonna try and make a woven texture here um, by doing some diagonal lines one way and then a diagonal lines the other way. So it kind of looks like a um, woven um, wooden basket. So I'm gonna use my um, markers here to kind of outline this before I color it. And maybe you want to put someone inside your basket. Um, that might be a fun uh, detail to add, um, but you can kind of start to add whatever you'd like here. So I might add a person in my basket and then I'm gonna start adding a sky. So. Uh, Think about what you want to be in your sky. Do you want it to be a blue sky day? Do you want it to be a um, sunset um, over mountains? Do you want it to be um, uh, over a beach maybe? Um, kind of whatever you decide where you want your hot air balloon um, to be. Um, I think I'm gonna draw um, kind of myself in here.
Alrighty, so there you go. We've got our um, fun hot air balloon. We uh, learned about the different colors and how we organize them in our color wheel. We talked about a way to remember that organization, which is Roy G. Biv. Um, so now the last thing we gotta do is just sign our name at the bottom. Um, you can also maybe date it. I'm putting 20 next to it. Um, so there we go. Um, beautiful, fun scene. Um, we got to talk about different colors and um, organize them, but we also got to make a fun picture while we were at it. Um, so thank you everyone. I hope you really enjoyed this activity and I am super excited to continue talking with you about um, the wonderful element of color. Um, thanks everyone. Have a great week.